So in lean, in production and manufacturing, and also in construction, there are seven wastes, the eight wastes. In lean, when it comes to BIM, we looked at defining wastes. And here we've got the six wastes of BIM that we'll take you through. So the first one is poor model scoping. When you don't have a correct, or you sometimes don't even have a scope, mm -hmm. sometimes it's too detailed. Sometimes it can be just overly generalized. It can be disastrous. Yeah, we've seen owners just have a very general scope. I want BIM. I want LED 500. What Give me some BIM. Mean? What, what are the uses for that? Then we've seen owners copy and paste some contracts and they just don't get what they want. Yeah, it's somebody else's desires, yeah. not their own. Yeah, so we've seen a lot of risk, a lot of scope risk when people are signing up for BIM. Not knowing exactly what they're going to have to do causes some big issues. Right. And some of those issues, you end up with overmodeling because you're not sure about what the owner wants. You can end up with two companies modeling the same thing. You could end up with a complete gap in modeling where you don't have the elements that you do need. So this is a huge risk and waste again in our industry when we talk about BIM, not defining or not being able to model certain things causes problems. Mm -hmm. Then we might have defects due to bad modeling. We also get problems from out of sequence modeling. So two images we see on the screen, they're both actually buildable, they're constructible, there's no clashes, but one of them costs a significant amount more than the other. And if we had the situation on the left where the cable tray was modeled first, and our out of sequence modeling led to more connections, more maybe welds in the pipe to route around it, more hangers, more bracing, it's going to end up in a not, in a not lean yeah. approach, very wasteful, that is caused not just in the BIM workflow, but also in downstream construction as well. Right. It costs a lot more to have all those supports as well, so materials. Yep. And then waiting. Waiting for something is, is wasteful. It's certainly not lean if we are waiting for 30 minutes, in some cases yeah. we had, to slice a cross-section through a model to generate that. Mm -hmm. Waiting for information. Then you can find yourself waiting for decisions or approvals. Absolutely. And the fifth one there is rework. So when we do something for the second and the third time and onwards, it's just waste. We shouldn't have to. And especially when it comes to clashes and coordination, any clash in a model is waste. It means that we have to do something again. And being able to make sure that the sequence of elements is correct and also that we are sharing and are waiting for models. All of that helps us to make sure that we eliminate this, this rework. We can ultimately see these clashes being resolved as a good thing, but we could have possibly avoided them had, the, in this for this example, the plumbing consultant have the models from the structural, and then they could have just avoided the clash. Yep, much more efficient to avoid it in the first place. And then when we look at BIM from a BIM manager's perspective or a project manager's perspective, we end in this frustration sometimes. And let me hit play on the video. We'll see our friend here, who's our BIM manager, getting a little bit frustrated that maybe he's not got the, the best hardware. Uh, maybe he's trying to create a BIM execution plan or get people to follow a BIM execution plan. Maybe he's loading. Uh, so the guys have been frustrated. When it comes to the BIM administration, we do believe that you shouldn't have to kick at the end. It's fantastic. We believe that you shouldn't have to have that burden. We believe that the workflow should be a lot more streamlined, and cutting out the steps in that workflow is really important. Have, so happier teams. Happier teams as a result. So there are the six BIM wastes. The first one was model scoping. When we don't have a good model scope, we end up in mis miscommunication, a lot of contractual problems. The overmodeling, when we're modeling something twice, when we're modeling it by two teams, or maybe there's gaps in modeling, there's scope gaps, that causes waste as well. We have out of sequence work, which can lead to defects. We can have bad modeling which is a defect as well. We have waiting for information, for model deliverables. Or decisions. We have waiting for models to open. All of that is waste. And then rework, doing something for the second, third, fourth time. Right. Finding yourself in four hour coordination meetings and having to do that over and over again. Absolutely. And that turns into 
the poor guy <laughs> who got very frustrated yeah. with all of the administration burden. So managing all of the different software, managing permissions, getting people to follow certain mm -hmm. processes that you have, that can be wasteful and it can be very disruptive, can be very time consuming as well. So there are the six BIM wastes.